hi guys you're welcome back to this step-by-step -step guide on how you can be able to migrate your pi token or your pi coin to the pi network mainnet i'm going to show you guys how i was able to do mine so that i can do it just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you do well to like subscribe and leave a comment guys let's get started i have been getting so many comments on my previous pi token videos people are asking me how they can actually migrate their pi token to the mainnet i'm going to show you guys right away so the first step you have to take now is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top you can see it right there at the top left let me tap on it so the next step you have to take next to tap on the second option which is main net so let me tap on main net it's loading so guys here is the balance dashboard you can see on the right hand side where it is written migrated you can see the total amount of pi token that i migrated to the pi network main net you can see it right there the total is 650.54 token you can see it right there that's the total amount of migrated pi token so um if you check now to the let me go to the wallet right away let me go back now to the wallet you can see it is equivalent to my balance right there you can see it's 650.50 pi token so it's equivalent to what i have in my wallet this is what i was able now to actually migrate here to this pi mainnet so let me show you guys how you can simply um, um migrate your pi token the first step you have to take now is to go back um to the menu page let me go back now let me go back then let me tap on the menu icon at the top you can see there that three horizontal bar so let me tap on it right away then the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see profile that's the last option you can see it down there so let me go ahead now to tap on it we we'll have to go over to our profile for you to be able to migrate our pi token so guys you can see right here is my profile information here is my profile so let me scroll upwards now so guys the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see update password you can see right there password update rather password update so what you have to do now is to tap on password update so let me tap on it just simply tap on where you can see update the blue the update written in blue color so let me tap on it real quick right here guys is the next step you can see what's written there password update reset your password using your phone number associated with your pi account so what you simply have to do here is to go ahead to select your country you can see united states is there you have to select your country if it's not united states they go ahead to impute your phone number let me tap on country you can see the countries that we have then let me go and impute my phone number right away so guys now you can see i've imputed my phone number um so what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see start you can see down there so let me tap on start then over here is the next step can see what's written there sms verification text verification code you will not need to send a text to our verification service in us use the open sms button to automatically open a text message so that's what you have to do next is to tap on open sms but before you tap on open sms let's get to tap on where you can see manual instructions so we're going to see the instructions that we have to take in order to do this successfully so let me tap on manual instructions real quick so guys right here is the manual instructions you can see what's written there manual steps please send a text message sms to a phone number verification service in us with the following elements you can see the first one there is the recipient number so you have to copy that recipient number then the text message that you need to send you can see it right there is a number 871390 so you have to text this number to the recipient number so guys let me continue you can see what's written down there they said make sure that the phone number you send this text from is your number so guys what that means is that the phone number you're going to use to send this text message to them make sure the phone number is what you use in creating your pi account if the phone number is not what you use in creating your pi account don't use it to send it make sure it's the number that is connected to your pi account that you're going to use to send this text message to them for this process to be successful so guys you have to take note of that and also for those who actually connected their email address who actually verified their email address you're going to be getting two options to either use your email or your phone number via text message to verify this process so guys that that's how it works so what you have to do right away now is to go ahead now to copy the text of the sms then immediately send the message to the recipient number so once you successfully done that then you have to tap on where you can see i have sent the text then after that they are going to verify you then once the verification is successful then you then need to change your password you then be able now to change your password and once you're able to update your password then you're a few steps away to migrating your pi token to the pi network mainnet so after you've successfully updated your password the next step you have to take now is to log out of this your pi account and you can do that by tapping on where you can see log out you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so you have to log out and once you successfully logged out the next step you have to take now is to log in and this time you have to log in with the new password the password that you change the updated password so once you successfully logged in with the new password you're going to notice that your pi token has been migrated sometimes it's going to take some minutes or some hours for mine it took about one hour before i noticed that my account has been updated 
updated my pi token has been uh, migrated to the main net so guys that's how i was able to do it and so many other persons like me they were all able to do it using the same way um though i heard for some person that they actually did this and it didn't work but for me and for my friends and people around me this is exactly what we did and we are able to migrate our pi token to the pi network main net so guys what you simply have to do is just to follow this process i've shown you then hopefully it's going to work out for you just as it has been working out for many though few persons this this method has not worked out for them but um for majority of persons like i said for me and my friends and people i know it has been working out so i've not been able now to show you how you can be able to migrate your pi token to the pi network minute see you in the next upload bye